We now have the option to use transparencies when creating Toastmasters brand compliant content. But does this mean that we can use any transparencies? Let's find out. The updated brand manual specifies how we can use transparencies in our design. As we can see from the manual, we have the option to use three different types of transparencies. In all cases, the transparency is made up of two elements. The bottom element is made up of a gradient, for example, a loyal blue linear gradient, a maroon gradient, the cool gray linear gradient. The top element is made up of a contrasting solid color. When the gradient is of a darker color, as in the case of blue and maroon, the top color is white. But when the gradient is made up of a lighter color, which is the cool gray, the top color is the loyal blue. Let's see how we can use this in an actual design using Canva. Let me log into Canva. Start by creating a new design. Let's choose an Instagram post. Let's start by creating a gradient element. If you want to learn more about gradients, please check out my other video where I explain to you how to create Toastmaster brand compliant gradients. Go to Elements, Graphics and Gradients. I will start with a circle gradient. This particular gradient element can be changed to comply with the Toastmaster brand colors. Click on it. Let me create this circle as a maroon gradient. Click on the first color. From the brand manual, we know that the darker maroon color is 3B0104. Canva will bring up that color. I just have to click on it. Next, click on the second color. The lighter color of maroon is 781327. Click on it. And this is a circle gradient as per the TI brand colors. Next, I will place another circle on top of this, but this time it will be a solid color. So go back to elements, select shapes and the circle shape. Resize the shape and center it within the larger gradient. You will get the pink lines to indicate that the second circle is perfectly aligned with the bigger circle. Change the color of the circle by clicking on the color button and let's make it white. And this is the object to which I can apply the transparency. As per the brand guidelines, the transparency should be set exactly at 70%. To apply the transparency, click on the transparency button. We can directly type the number 70 and we are done. Let me group both the objects together. I can click on the first object, hold the shift key, then select the second object and click on the group option. Both the objects will now be treated as a single object. I can resize it, move it around. Let's put some text inside the object. Click on the text, select text object, move it inside and let's type something. Align the text. When placing the text on a transparency, do make sure that there is a contrast between the text and the color. For example, if I was to use the happy yellow color for the text, this would not be a good idea because there is not enough contrast between the color and the text and it's difficult to read. But a darker color such as blue, maroon, black should be perfectly alright. Let's see what the other two options look like. Instead of creating this object from beginning, I can copy the group with Ctrl C and then Ctrl V to copy it. Move it to the desired location. Let's try the second gradient, which is the loyal blue gradient. Click on it. Choose the first color. Choose the second color. And this is how the blue gradient will look. Remember that the white color is already at 70%, so this is perfectly fine. Let me copy the text. Control C, Control V. And finally, let me try the transparency with the third gradient, which is made up of the cool gray color. Copy this with Ctrl C and paste it with Ctrl V. Move it to the desired location. Change the color of this gradient to cool gray. In this case, the element which is on top should be not white in color, but loyal blue. I can simply change the color to loyal blue. 
the transparency is already set at 70% because I had copied it and this is how the third object would look like. Let me type some text there. Again, I can copy, Control C, Control V. In this case, I would recommend we change the text color to a lighter color since the black does not have enough contrast with the loyal blue transparency. Click on the color. Let's make it white. And this is how we can use transparencies to create interesting design elements for your Toastmaster content. I hope you found that video useful. Let's have fun creating interesting content using gradients and transparencies.